now that it's officially the off season, a lot of the slots in my bag are kind of up for grabs. There are a good amount of discs that I was not in love with towards the end of the season, but one that might surprise you, as it's definitely surprised me, is the Latitude 64 Pure. This is one of the first discs that I ever intentionally bought, and ever since I started playing disc golf and had putters that I chose, I've been putting with the Pure. I've also been throwing a Pure, and right now I have this Gold Line one in my bag. I had some Opto ones that I ended up throwing in the mystery boxes that I recently ran. But this is honestly kind of a little bit of a series video because if you guys remember, I actually reviewed the proxy against the pier and said that I might have preferred the proxy if the pier wasn't already in my bag and it was during the season. And so now we have to check this out again. But a lot of you guys gave me the request for a disc that I've technically never thrown, but also technically kind of have the Mint Discs Bullet. So today we're gonna play nine holes with these three and see if any of them are gonna still be contenders for my bag. The season is a long way off, my form is still coming along, so obviously the way I'm throwing the disc can change, but I wanna see if we can rule any of these out, and I'm honestly a little scared that the pure is gonna be ruled out because it's, I think, gonna be the fastest of these. The bullet might be the most stable. We'll see. We're at a new course to me. I went and played through the nine holes just to make sure it was a good course. It's the Dry Dock Brewing Company course. There is a store, a brew house, and this course right on property. The nine holes start off looking a little bland because you just got that right there, but it is an island hole. And most holes have OB and some of these ones on the back have a decent bit of teeth. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these fly. We're just gonna start out with the pier. I think this looks like 230-ish feet, maybe a little less. You gotta get it to the basket, past it is safe, but there is an OB island. Just ace it off rip. Oh, that's so long actually. Wow, that feels clean. I changed something with my form like in that round, or like figured something out, or like I've tried to figure something out and it is feeling good. We're gonna throw the proxy next. It's a 171 Neutron proxy. This, I'm an MV guy for sure, and I even have an MV in my bag that flies, I think like this proxy, because I beat in so much. Oh, that's gonna be OB if it doesn't hit the basket, or a stake, hit something. Oh, I think that's OB. A little too much hyzer, and now the bullet. Now the reason I say technically I've thrown it and technically I haven't is that I'm pretty sure the bullet is just the Thought Space Praxis, which is just the Jester Discs Love, which I reviewed before I understood a lot about like how discs are made. Because what I understand is that those discs are the same, similar to how the Pathfinder and the Mustang are the same from Thought Space and Mint. And the way that it works is this is MVP made. So same plastic actually. This is technically, I think it's the Apex, yeah, Apex plastic, which I'm pretty sure is just the Neutron from MVP, but MVP owns these molds, but they're not quite good enough for like their discs, their Streamline, Axiom. So they lease them to these companies and they can market them, which is how you get different ones. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's a thing that I ho hopefully gets understood a little bit more, but it does have a little bit of a bevel, kind of like you'd see on like a P2 style disc, which makes me think it'll be a little more stable. I think they call it 3301. I'll put the numbers on the screen for all these. This is 174. I'm gonna guess it's a little stable. I'm gonna throw it a little softer and a little writer. Definitely seems to have a little more bite. No, come on, go in the basket. But on those first shots, I think obviously because I know the pure, I threw it all right. I can't believe I threw the proxy OB, but everything's a little bit long. Got the towel here, maybe I should Robbie see it and just put it back here since I'm not carrying a bag. We're gonna play this as hazard, make things a little more interesting, don't get to take it in. My guess is how it's played, I don't see a drop zone anywhere. So, let's see. And then the bullet, I guess we're going opposite of who's out. Ooh, a little headwind putt. Sit. Ooh, just stayed in. Let's see if the pier takes the lead. See if I'm playing some biased disc golf already. Stay up. Ooh. All right, well, three pars because we're good at disc golf. I think this is the worst part about playing disc golf when it's like snowed out or been muddy at all. This like class of disc, I've grown out of love with a little bit. I don't know if it's because I've like been trying to throw a little more Anheusers. I really like the way that I throw Heisers and those first three I think showed it except for the proxy. But this like class of disc, this like slightly understable, a part of me would rather like beat a disc in to get it there. But then Calvin said like, hey, I'd rather just have a disc that flies how it flies out of the box. And that's one of the reasons why I love the MVP plastic ones the bullet and the proxy because there is truth to that. You want something that starts out a little flippy because then you can turn it into like a mega flippy guy. Not necessarily that I would want that in the putter category if I have a mid range, but something slower, putter or mid, that's really flippy. 
And when you start out with something slightly flippy, it can get there. But the good thing about these MVP plastic discs is I've noticed that they tend to beat in slower than Trilogy plastics. I'm not one of those like gyronauts who's like, oh, MVP doesn't ever beat in and it also is 100% consistent because there's not gonna be consistency in disc manufacturing. And I honestly do think it's cool what MVP does with leasing out these discs to these companies so that a smaller company like a Jester Discs who makes the Love, which is the counterpart to the Bullet here, I'm pretty sure it's the same mold. They're able to start in disc golf with, I'm guessing, lower upfront costs, kind of like a franchising-ish business model, but just for your molds. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'll actually show you guys. Check this out for this. Most like camera tripods have this little hook right down here that you can use to like hang a counterbalance. Perfect for your disc golf towel. If you wanna be a disc golf YouTuber, pro tips, bam, right there. I think we got about 270, maybe 250 to that basket, and it backs up to the street, so we don't wanna throw it too far. This will be perfect because obviously we could take the big spike hides. I think I could probably throw that on most of these holes, but that's not fun. We'll throw a nice like gentle turnover that sits down close to the basket. This one I think is the flippiest still because this one has gotten beaten and beaten. It's got a lot of late turn. Oh, a little slip, but that's where the late flip is going to be perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going to try to throw a similar line with these. You might see a little more Anheuser out of the bullet because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be slightly more stable than these guys. Nice straight shot instead of a little turnover, but parked it. Maybe a little higher so that get the glide back. If you could do it right. Oh, that's flippy, or than I thought. I got the shot shape correct. I just didn't throw it to the left enough because I was worried I wasn't gonna turn it over because I've been throwing good Anheuser's. I really do think that this series, which I want to continue to make a series because I want to find which putter of these fits in my bag because I love the flight out of them. But I think this series really is what the best putter on the planet is. Because all of these are discs, the bullet now I'm learning, it definitely seems a little straighter than I thought. They're all discs that you give them to pros, they can use. And they're discs that you can put in a beginner's hands and they still get good use out of. Probably the proxy, yeah, I still think the proxy is the best for that. And then pure maybe second, but it's a little more finicky because it seems like it's a little faster. So more left to right movement. Gonna have to make a putt sometime. Personally, I really like the idea of putting with and throwing a putter that you putt with. Just cause that way, like I have a bunch of old peers that I've cycled in and out of my bag as my like stupid flippy one that I've like, hey, you have 5,000, 10,000 practice reps on the putting green or on the course. Now you're gonna be a good thrower, which is just gonna turn forever. But I've kind of started to come to think that I want a slightly more stable putting putter because the putting putters that I, like these piers are definitely a little nose angle dependent and I feel like you have to spin them a lot and I can't really jam them in there without them like really going on you because they are a little bit fast. Like they, they want to glide and they want to move. They're a glidey disc. So I'm thinking I want to change my putting putter for this next season. I'm hoping a lot of this like thoughts about what gets in my bag is going to be sorted out slightly uh, by potentially being sponsored by somebody. Who knows about that? All I know is this is a nice little hole. It is 320 feet from Right where we're standing, I ranged it to the basket, so it's probably gonna be almost exactly 305 feet from where we throw. We're gonna try to give it a little ace run on some highs. That's the pure, nice flip up, and like just kind of keeps flipping forever. A little bit long, pretty parked. Proxy next, I'm gonna throw the same line. That thing goes, that thing is nice. I definitely planted a little inside instead of to the right, kind of where I wanted to throw it. The bullet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to throw the same. I'm not gonna do anything different. I'm gonna try to throw it just like that proxy, just on the right line and see if it'll give me some flip up. Wow, it, I might've been in the way because of that, but it really did. I thought it'd be a lot, I thought it'd be a lot closer to the basket. Wow, it goes though, that went far. Holy cow, just for fun, because we have, we'll get some ace runs with my putting putter since there's like no trees in it. That's it. I made it. Oh, come on! There we go. Should I step it? Am I, no, 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 no steppers. Oh, I needed the extra juice. All right, Proxy still is my favorite, surprisingly. I didn't think that like, even through the changes that I've had to my form and I'm throwing a little farther now than I was in that video and like, feeling better about my control, I didn't think that would still be my favorite, but it, right now it is through three holes. 
All right, we got a really fun green here. It's kind of, there's a ditch that goes just before the basket. And we're gonna play anything that's not like up on top of the ridge as hazard. Just making it difficult. Maybe I shouldn't have put 20 under, but I think we can definitely get up there with all these guys. We're gonna need to throw a very similar shot to two holes ago, where it's just kind of flexing out. Cause I don't like the hyzer. I wanna come into the green from the left to the right. I mean, I like the hyzer, but it's just a little more boring. Well, hyzer flip instead, I guess. Stay up. All right, that's up there. That's a putt. Oh gosh. I think I tried to rip it way too hard. We didn't. Huh. I mean, they're all up there. I just think I forget that when you throw a turnover, you need to throw it to the left. You can't just aim right at the basket. So the pure is essentially parked. I haven't seen the proxy yet. Oh, right there. Perfect. These are like no man's land pots, especially with this barrel in the way. There's like a line here, but I'm gonna have to get through some trees. Let's freaking go! Ooh! I think that all really went to show me that these discs, for me, are more hyzer discs right now. I don't have the control of the angle and release of my Anheusers. I think, this is a thought, maybe it's because I'm pulling my Anheusers through here the same way, and I need to be thinking about throwing them out a little bit more when I take those wide turnovers. So I moved the camera around because we're actually gonna get some of that Anheuser practice right now. I was thinking initially that we're gonna try to forehand these. We're not. I know my forehand is not nearly touchy enough right now. It's been bad on even chop overs. But I just noticed there's a double mando here. That leaning tree is a mando left. The back tree is a mando right. So you could lay up, but we're gonna try to hit that gap on the Anheuser. Pure has the box. I think the key here is I tend to like still over rotate and pull through. Just still spinning out and throwing it out. That's better. Wider. But we can still make the Mando too. We technically might have a putt the bullet, a little more angle, I think. There's a slight headwind, which you think would turn it, but really just stalls it. Get through, get through. Oh, I missed the Mando. That's bad. All right, proxy. More angle, less speed. I'm a proxy guy. I'm either a proxy guy or a third shot guy. Definitely the proxy. All right, since we're playing with Simon's disc, this one 100% missed the Mando. It's way too far this way. We're gonna play Simon rules where you just play it from where it lies with the stroke penalty. So we're putting for par here. And we're also doing the same with the bullet up there. Proxy has a long birdie putt. Wow, that was even close. And a nice big roll. Oh, that was the right height. I got a putt for the proxy to take two strokes. Oh my gosh. There we go. Not leading with the elbow today. I have a love-hate relationship with this course, this challenge in myself right now, because I forgot how many of these left to right moving shots there are. It looks like there's a big circle of OB around it when I played it earlier. So again, we're going into a headwind and we have another one of these left to right shots which I think is the shot that like, these discs are like made for. Cause they just continue to glide and not really stable out anything crazy. The bullet, honestly, it's still, it's still messing with me a bit. I like the stability, don't like, don't love the feel. It's about as deep as these guys, but these both feel like putters that are doing what they should do. Maybe that's just my perception of it, but that feels, I don't know, feels interesting. Come on, heaven, turn that baby. Turn it, turn it, turn it. All right, well, at least you know the proxy can be a laser beam. I think that same shot with the pier is much better, actually. Not the prettiest shot, but you can see the late, ooh, turn and hitting a groundhog hill. I hope to show you here, but that showed you two mistakes that you don't want to make with these putters. You gotta, you gotta put them in the air. A, sl a slightly understable putter, and any putter for that matter, has to be in the air to get the movement that you need. Those are both significantly too low, which I think means my last step was a little too long. <laughs> Much better. Like that surprises me. I thought that was gonna be an ace run and it never came out of it. But I feel like that disc should. Oof. That's a heartbreaker. 
Nailed it. Just hanging out in a stump. It's like pretty far down there too. I don't know if I'll ever play this course again, but if I do, I'm gonna make it my mission to ace the stump. Nice and damp. Three more holes. The bullet might have just tied it up or taken the lead. No, it took that bogey too, so. I think it's either tied with the pier. They're, they might be all tied right now. All right, we got the nice sun shot going back at the brew house. And what I mean by it suffers from the same fate as the pier for me is it's not as gentle as the proxy. The proxy flips a little more gently. It moves left and it moves right a little moves left and right a little more gently. And, and typically that's associated with either flatter discs or faster discs. In this case, they're all about the same flatness. They're all pretty flat. If anything, the pure is probably the domiest. That makes the bullet in the pure feel like a three speed and the proxy more like a two and a half. Which in your hand, it kind of feels that way as well. Keep flipping, come on, keep flipping. Dang. All right, Mando off the, off the brew house, I guess. Proxy. A little less hyzer get it to flip up to flat. I wouldn't choose it over either of these discs personally, probably just because of the feel alone, but this does feel smaller, which I really like. Oh my gosh, what? I feel like there's like a reviewer's curse of at least one shot per three shots you're gonna have to shank a bit. I think on that same line as that bullet is perfect. A little less hyzer, we got a snow putt. I feel like so far, over these seven holes, the stability ranking for me goes, pure is the most understable. Then the proxy and bullet are almost tied at times. It's kind of weird because the proxy doesn't flip as hard, but it also seems to want to turn a little bit more when it's on that angle. And I think that just comes down to how like much more gently it feels like it moves left, right, up and down, not up and down, left to right. I am actually a little hesitant at bagging a proxy Mostly because I put one in my bag during the season for like three or four days or practice rounds. And it's just like, I didn't like it. Maybe it's because it was too straight. Maybe I just wasn't used to it enough, but it skeptical about it in my bag. I probably just need to like commit to it, put it in there and, and try it out. But this series is really turning into, is there a better throwing putter than the proxy out there? Cause personally so far, doesn't seem like it. Also, I know based on score so far and how I'm throwing it in this video, it might seem like I'm a little crazy, but I swear for some reason the proxy feels and throws the best for me, even if the result isn't showing it right now. Park job, free for the proxy. Then we got a nice turnover and then a nice hyzer hole. Try to determine the winner. There we go. Here we have the T of hole eight. It is covered in snow. And because I value my life, at least slightly, we're gonna go ahead and call Mando standstill. Bullet still has the box. We've been kind of slacking in the birdie department recently. It's kind of funny, I think the bullet is winning right now and it is my least favorite putter. That kind of happens sometimes in these reviews and I don't quite understand why. If anyone's like a psychologist and can understand or something, but it's also the disc that I feel like I'm reviewing, which also tends to happen every time. Just like that. It's gonna be a little short, but it should be perfect. A little short of an ace run, but I think it's parked. I think I, sometimes I think these are too different and I start to try to correct in degrees of correction that are like five, 10, 15, and that tends to make me overcorrect. I don't know if that makes any sense. It does to me. Proxy, little flip up, stay there. Oh, that, I think no matter what, pure's coming out, proxy's going in right now. I'm gonna have proxy, MV, MV. We're gonna be three of my putters. I need something understable, because this gets that late turn, the proxy doesn't, so I need to beat one in or get like a fission one or something. Oh, I thought that flipped more. I shanked it. Goes far though. This is where hole nine is gonna be, right behind those three. Got it. circle two look. There is a nice big log behind this to stop any runs, unless you run it too hard and high. But I honestly am starting to think this is my like last two with the pure. It's a good disc, it's such a good disc. Especially like the opto ones, I liked a little more than that one, but still I reviewed the proxy next to the opto one, which wasn't even in my bag. I still chose the proxy, so two for two. Proxy is kind of destroyed the pure in terms of how much I like it. Even just the feel is better. Now I'm rambling because I don't want to miss this putt. And I know I'm going to. Oh no, gosh, Anthony. I also say that I've fallen out of love with the pure because I've fallen out of love with it as a putter as well. I think I want something maybe slightly deeper. Not a lot, obviously. I got small hands, but more stable. Because the more stable, it just feels more reliable. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Come on. Okay, wow. Bullet, granny putt, whatever. Can do anything from this distance. Even though I missed that putt, 
Proxy is my favorite throwing putter at the moment. Didn't expect that at all today. Didn't expect to come out here and change my whole bag from what I started playing with when I was a lot worse, which I guess makes sense that you should probably change, but it was a good first disc. And I think it's still good for a lot of people. I just would rather have a slot that fits multiple, I don't know. I did feel the pixel, the disc that's gonna be coming out in the Simon line in the electron plastic when I was at Simon's house. And I think feels good. It feels like a slightly shallower P2, which might throw amp up very well, especially in that electron plastic, which will beat in fast. Skip base, I guess? That, I cannot believe how flippy that disc is. It's a phenomenal shot, but I thought it would just dump like an envy. It feels much more like it'd be that style of disc. All right, Proxy, go in the basket. If you were ace, I'll bag it for all of 2024. It's gonna be a little low, but not terrible. It kind of is because I think the Proxy is really kind of a pure putter, a pure throwing putter. The bullet feels like a two. The pure kind of feels like a hybrid putter mid. And I've always kind of felt that. And the distances that it goes are also kind of similar to that. And so when I pick it up and I know that I have to get like the angle right, I know that it's gonna move a little bit more than something like a proxy will. And maybe even like the bullet. Doesn't mean we don't know it enough to give it a credible bid. Maybe it does. Maybe if you shank it and get behind a barrel. <laughs> drop. Oh. Shout out course designer Brandon, getting ready for putting league. Oh, hey. I'm having an existential crisis about my putters, that's all. Yeah. I think it's really good for the space. Thank you. Use the bones of this place really well. It's, it makes a good use, especially with some of the mandos and a lot of the OB. Awesome. I definitely think that this round kind of confirmed that Proxy has been sitting on the shelf and staring me in the face and saying, hey, you need to throw me because you loved me when you threw me and now you're not in the season and you kind of don't like your peers as much anymore. I think it was right. Uh, it said all that to me every day as well, by the way, but the pure I still love, but I think it's going to the patrons. I think this pure, this gold line pure, this nice beauty that was in my bag for most of the season is going away. For me, the bullet, kind of a, a bin of disc. I think it's, it's fine, it's good, but it doesn't do anything special for me in this category that I don't get from anything else. And personally, the feel of it isn't as comfortable as something like a proxy. It's super solid, super straight, very point and shoot, a little hyzer, but it is very similar to that pure though, which I would say is also a very straight point and shoot disc, but it can move a little bit more on you than you might want compared to something like the proxy, which I'm not sponsored up by anybody to say any of these things, but I think the proxy is right now the best putter in the world for me. If you want to check out the last bag of the or some other videos that I've been putting up recently, it's not been a lot of reviews except for the time lapse one yesterday. Check it out right there. And more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See y'all.